Good morning. Good morning, my friends. I keep pulling my light over. How is your day going? Happy Tuesday. So today I don't have anybody set to channel. So here's what we do. We, um, we jump on in and anybody who wants to jump in and do some book channeling, just raise your little hand and we will jump in and do this. I see Laura West is one of our Freedom House authors. I'm so happy you're here. Maria, we've done a book channeling. So good to see you. So I was just saying, I did not have anyone booked for today on the morning show. So we can do two things. One, we can have anybody who wants to jump in and channel their book. Just wave hello, say you want in, we'll jump in. Otherwise, we'll dive in and feel into what there is to uh, create today. So, does anyone here want to jump in and do some book channeling? Does anyone feel the call in their heart? And even if you've been on the show before, you've got an open spot. So you can come on in if you're wanting a little bit more movement, a little bit more clarity, or if you want to get unblocked, that's what we can do. Otherwise, we can drop in together as a whole and see what today is. So I will leave that open to you guys. I'm gonna drop in with you guys. If someone wants to pop in, oh my goodness, this light, it just wants to just wants to dance with me today. It's like my dance partner or something. Come on, light, come on. Okay, so today, if no one wants to jump in, we're gonna do a little bit of a morning practice. I have no idea what we're gonna do. We're gonna do something. I was driving my kids to school this morning and the most magical moon. Did anyone else see the moon this morning? It was the biggest full moon I've ever seen. It was this beautiful hue of light pink. It was so beautiful, it was so powerful. It actually brought me to tears. It was that magical. So what that makes me wanna to do today is how do we create in this beautiful energy? The full moon creates a space for us to feel gratitude. Gratitude for all that has happened in the last month. It helps us expand the feeling of gratitude in our bodies. And today I actually dumped, jumped back into Florence Scovel Shen's book. It's been a bit since I've played in her book. And I would love to read to you, because I don't think I can pop out of this live and read it to you. We'll have to do that another day. <laughs> but her energy's here. And her energy, Florence Scovel Shen brings the energy of manifestation, of the words that we speak become our reality. So she brings that beautiful truth of speaking our heart's desires through our words and then allowing them to actually create a new reality, which is perfect with the full moon. So we're gonna do that a little bit today. So if you guys wanna drop in with me, <sighs> let's get into our bodies. <sighs> I have the most beautiful stone that I'm wearing today. I'm wearing the most beautiful green malachite, which is heart-centered magic. That's what it is. So we're going to jump in here. Uh-uh. Are you kidding me? You were reading your book right before we went live? Okay. That tells you that Florence is here today. Two witnesses. That's amazing. That just made my whole day. Thank you for sharing that. Okay. So we're going to just drop in today. I want everyone to... Let's see if you can, we're gonna get into our bodies. So you're just gonna move your body. Why do we, I always move my ribs because it holds my heart. So I'm getting some energy into my ribs, moving my ribs. If you do my YouTube videos, you, you're used to this. This is what we do a lot. Shoulders up, you're gonna open your heart. And then you're gonna open your back heart. So the back heart is really, a powerful place because it's where we hold our old pain. So we want to breathe some oxygen in there. We want to loosen it up so we can let go of any old pain that we're carrying. So we're just going to shake our arms. <sighs> Take your ear to your shoulder, breathe it in. <coughs> oh, we got some throat work to do today. That only happens when there's throat work. All right. All right. What throat work are we going to do today? Those of you who are new to chakras, the throat is the space of speaking our truth and allowing ourselves to be seen. 
allowing ourselves to be seen exactly who we are. This is one of the hardest things I find happens for thought leaders, especially the authors that I work with, because the authors I work with are here to change the world, which means that they don't fit in, that they are not of the system. They are not of the normal mold. And when you are so different, it's very easy to want to hide. And this is what, sh it shuts down our throat chakra. It shuts this down because it tells us to stay small, to stay hidden, to tuck things away. And right now is not the time for you as a thought leader, as a brilliant human being, as someone who's here to change the world. This is not the time to hide. This is not the time to keep quiet, to take your brilliance and put it over in a corner for the 10 people that you feel the most comfortable with. Like it is time for you to bring it all the way out, to expand it throughout the world and to do it boldly. That is gonna activate your throat chakra. It's gonna activate your ability to speak truth. And since we're working with Florence today, it's gonna to activate your ability to speak what you want and let it land in reality, letting it actually become truth, something that you can feel, hold, see, know. So the phrase, if I were to tell you the phrase that I read today of Florence, uh, let's see if I can remember it. I don't remember word for word, but it's something like, today is a day of completion. Today is a day of miracles. Let miracles follow miracles. Um, and then I'll just add on and like let magic unfold. That's not her words, but we'll put my words in with Florence. So today is a day of unfolding miracles. So every one of you, I want you to think of a miracle that you would love. Like it would be the thing that would just light your whole soul on fire. It's something so scary that maybe you don't even want to speak it out loud. Maybe, maybe it feels impossible. That's where we're going to play today. I don't want to play in the realm of possible with you. I don't want to play in the realm of, oh, this is like kind of scary. Like, no, don't play there. That's never going to do what you are here to do. So today we're going to play in the realm of impossible. Today we're going to play in the realm of expansive miracle and leaning in to where you're scared as hell. Okay, so I want you to take a nice deep breath in. You can put your palms up on your knees. <sighs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your heart, wiggle your heart, wiggle your heart. Get into your body, get into your body. <sighs> the body is the wisdom keeper. The body is also what produces miracles. So we've got to get into our bodies, which I know is very hard when you are a very spiritually attuned human. It's very hard to want to be in the body. The body is the vehicle for your miracles. You've got to find that peace. You've got to find that partnership with the body. How do we want to do this? I feel like we need to wake up some fire. Okay, so you're going to get your hands going. And you're going to breathe in all the way from the lower belly. This is your sacral chakra. That lower belly is a place of creation. You're going to breathe into it. And we're going to breathe that fire all the way up into your heart. It's going to move through your arms and into your hands. All right, so you're going to breathe it in. All the way up to the heart. Move it out moving into the palms of the hands. Okay, you're gonna breathe it all the way in from that lower belly. All the way up, in through your arms, letting it exit into your hands. We're gonna do one more. And out, there we go. All right, you're gonna put your right hand on your heart. You're gonna put your left hand on the front solar plexus. The front solar plexus, right underneath your rib, your, uh, your sternum, okay? So you're gonna place them right here. I want you to feel the vibrations moving through the body. We're waking up some fire that this possible, this impossible dream, this impossible thing that you just desire, want, hold in your heart that is gonna actually come through today. We're gonna to use the power of the full moon and the power of your own gifts of speaking dreams into reality. Okay, so feeling the vibrations move through your body, dropping into your heart and just asking, what is the one thing today that you would love to bring through? What is the one thing that you would love to come here 
and partner with you in this world. Stay out of your mind, stay out of your mind. The mind will never lead you to the place of magic. <laughs> the mind will only lead you to places you've already been. So just really staying in the heart. There we go, there we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so now that you've found it, and I hope you feel scared, <laughs> okay? If you're not scared, it's not the thing. It's just not. If you're not afraid, it's not the thing. You have to feel some fear around this because that's where the realm of miracles live. This is like the Red Sea parting. We're not asking for the sun to rise. Like it does this every day. Like let's part the damn sea, okay? Like let's get into the place of can we open up for miracles? So I want you to just breathe in with me, all right? Holding this space, holding this space, holding this space for this thing that you desire more than anything. This is the place that we're gonna to play today. We're gonna to activate your gifts of speaking it into reality and allowing yourself to receive it. So how you do that is you stay in your heart. You're gonna bring this thing, this creation, all the way up from the lower belly because that is the space of creation. So you're gonna bring it all the way up from the lower belly into the heart. And I want you to actually leave it in the heart for a second, okay? So you're gonna keep this beautiful vision of what you desire more than anything. And you're gonna bring it into your heart. And for a second, you're gonna witness all the thoughts in your mind that say that this is not possible. You're gonna just kind of see them like cars passing on a street. You're gonna just witness them. You can see their color. You can see their, um, whatever they feel like. They're not gonna feel good, all right? Like these things that say you can't have the most desired desire in your heart. You're just gonna see them. So just witness them, keep your eyes closed, witness, see them, feel them, and notice that they're actually just illusions. That like none of them are real. They're just fears. They're fears from your past experiences. They're fears from other people's beliefs pouring into you. None of them are true. What's the most true is the thing that's in your heart. What's the most true is what's so loud, it's exploding through your body. That, that is what you get to receive today. So just breathe that in keeping it in the heart, expanding it. I want you to feel this like warm energy moving through your body, moving through your arms, moving down through your legs. And then we're gonna actually bring them up into the throat chakra because the throat chakra showed up for us today, right? This place that we're afraid of how other people will see us when we stay in our brilliance and our light, the place where we speak our truth. Okay, so we're going to bring up the love that's in your heart from this desire, and then we're going to bring it all the way up through the throat. Okay, so you're going to breathe in. I want you to visualize this moving all the way up, all the way up through the throat, and it's even going to move into the jaw because this is the space where we're going to speak our truth. Okay, so we're going to use Florence's magic today. We're going to use her magic, and how she speaks is really careful. So imagine that if you were a painter and you were painting the most extraordinary painting on the whole planet and you had all of your paints out, you wouldn't be sloppy. You'd be very careful. You'd be very careful with where you uh, place the colors. You'd be very intentional because you know how important this painting is. When you use your words, it is the same. You are creating, you are creating exactly what you want and desire with the words that come out of your mouth. So you become very careful with how you speak them. Okay, so now you're going to breathe in and you're going to breathe it all the way up through the throat chakra, all the way up to the jaw, and you're going to speak this into existence which means that it sounds something like this. You speak it as though it has already been done. So let's say, because I help people write books, let's play with that, okay? 
So you, if you have a desire in your heart to write a book, like it's so loud, you can't push it down, you can't ignore it, it's always here. And I'll say this over and over, books come and tap on your heart. Like they just tap, like a little three-year-old who taps on your shoulder. Like this is actually what books do, they come and tap. So if you've been feeling your book tapping in your heart and it won't go away, then that book is asking you to bring it through. So we're gonna speak it into reality, which means you speak as though it has already been done. So you're gonna breathe in and you're gonna say something like this. <sighs> My book is already complete. It was beautiful, powerful, and easy to write, and it is already changing millions of lives. Then we place Florence's words at the end, which is under grace and in perfect ways. That's like the thing that sews it up. It's like the honey. It's so powerful to put that in at the end. So we're gonna just lean in to that magic. I know you can feel it. There's like this fire in your heart. I want you to lean into this fire and you're going to speak it out loud. You're going to speak the thing out loud that you just feel in your heart. And you're going to speak as though it's already been done. So I'm going to be quiet so you can do that. So now I want you to feel in your body that it has already been done. Okay, so you're gonna just breathe in. And you're gonna feel in your body that this thing that you desire more than anything that is so loud that you cannot keep it quiet is already been done. Mm. Mm, this is so good. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm loving, I love this. I'm loving your guys' comments. Thank you. Thank you, Angela, you're the sweetest. I am just so excited that we had this space today because every one of your days is gonna be the best day ever today because we're starting it like this and because we're activating with the power of the full moon, which is just magic. And it was a blood moon eclipse. We have all this magic happening. This has already been done. So feeling that in your body now, I'm gonna give you just one little extra mm, treat. How about that? So this is something that I do. I take exactly what I said just now. So everything that you just said, you're gonna write it down in that way, all right? You're gonna write the words exactly that you said it. Then you're gonna take that piece of paper, you're gonna fold it over, and then you're gonna place it somewhere. Now, because I love crystals, I let me see if I can show you how mine is, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Okay, so this is something that I've been wanting to manifest. It's a secret. You do not get to see it. So this is it. Now this is my one of my very favorite crystals, and I place it on top of my piece of paper, okay? And I place it in a, in a place in my room that I see all the time. So I'm here in my office. I'm here every day. So I place it right here, and every time I see the rock and I see the paper underneath it, I remember, oh, it's already been done. Like it's already been done. This has already been complete. And I feel it. I feel that it's already been done. And then I hand it over to my angels. So I work with my spiritual team. You can call them angels. You can call them guides. You can call them whatever you want to call them. I don't care. But every one of us has a board of directors that we work with. So I hand it over to them. I do the physical work of feeling as though it's already been done. And then I let them do all the behind the scenes magic to bring this into reality. I can't do this by myself. I need a spiritual team and same with you. So this is a way for you to take this magic that we just created and feel it all day long. Because every time I look at this rock, I feel it is so, like it's just done. It's here, I feel it, I know it, I taste it, and then I hand it over. The magic is feeling it and then surrendering the outcome. 
feel it, and then surrender it. So we're gonna take a nice deep breath in together as we complete this beautiful morning practice that we've done. I love to keep my, my palms up, my shoulders back, my heart soft. A heart that is soft can receive miracles. A heart that is closed can't receive miracles. So we always want to soften our heart, soften our heart, soften our heart, okay? So take a nice breath in, breathing out. Just noticing the vibrational frequency of your body. How do you feel right now? In just 20 minutes time, do you feel different? Because I feel different. I hope you feel different in all the good ways. I want you to just notice how easy that was to change the state of being to change how you were feeling and that this is the place where you will feel the most impossible miracles roll into your life. The things that you can't figure out, that's where you wanna play. And if you can do this every day, if you can look over here at your beautiful little manifestation, prayer, whatever you wanna call it and feel it at least three times a day, what's happening if we were to go a little bit um, heady right now, right, which is not really where I play a lot, but what's happening is you're teaching your subconscious to believe that this is so. You're, this is all you're doing all day long. If you can feel that you've already received this, you're teaching your subconscious that this is already so, and your subconscious is what runs the show. It's the thing that allows you to receive either good or bad. So the more you feel this magic, the more magic you will receive. And that is the place to play. All right, so we're gonna take a nice breath in. We're gonna take this beautiful golden light that I love to work with. It's gonna come in from the crown of your head all the way down to your toes. <sighs> it just feels like honey. Can you feel it? It's like honey all over. So you're just gonna let this beautiful honey just like kind of melt through the body, nurturing your cells, your nervous system, bringing you all the way down to the soles of your feet, grounding you into the earth. And then we're just gonna invite all of our spiritual team to help this manifestation, this desire that is burning so loud in your heart, come to pass under grace and in perfect ways that it is in the highest good for all. And then we release the attachments of how, of when, of where, and we trust that it will roll in at the perfect time and in the perfect place and in the perfect way. So take one more breath in. I wanna put this beautiful golden light around your heart so that your heart has this veil. So when we open the heart, it can feel a little scary. It can feel a little bit like walking around naked, right? Most of us have hearts that are closed. But I'm gonna tell you that if you have a closed heart, the life that you live is not the life that you were here to live. An open heart expands everything. But it's nice to feel like you're safe. So one thing that I do is when I open my heart, I put this beautiful veil of light over my heart and it becomes a fluid protection, which means all good things can come in. Anything that is not of my good cannot. So just know we're placing that over your heart right now, allowing it to stay soft, allowing it to be open and safe. This is the place light and safety this is where i like to play with you if you can feel safe anything and everything will roll in with ease safety keeps your nervous system calm and your heart open so take one more breath in breathing out <sighs> all right so here's my my vision that i'm going to leave you with okay my vision is this that every step you take today, the earth moves in the direction you need to go, that every breath you breathe today, your body expands in love, and every word you speak becomes a magic wand that changes the world for good. Ooh, that is magic, I like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, thanking all of our guides for being here with us, our spiritual team, inviting them to continue to participate in all the beautiful work that each one of you are doing. And with that, my friends, 
hope you have the most magical Tuesday. And I'm um, so glad you felt that, Carla. I'm so happy you were all here. Uh, it was fun. It was fun. We didn't have a book channeling session, so instead, we just channeled some magic. <laughs> all right, I will see you guys all tomorrow. See you later. If you loved this video, then I invite you to come over with me right here and watch a few more of my book channeling sessions. Join me as I sit with authors and we channel through books that are here to transform humanity. I think you're going to love them.